What is going on guys, this is SJ Sports and welcome your faces back to a brand new video. This is episode number 4 of our Youth Academy Regions career mode with Cambridge United. First things first, Ronaldo's picked up a one game ban. He did get two yellow cards and the red in the last game. Staying in our emails, Aidan Carter has returned from injury. Peter Harris has suffered a sprained ankle and will be out for three weeks. Transfer news now, guys. Ikpizu has agreed personal terms with Ipswich for a fee of 1.3 million. First game of the episode, then we host Barnsley in the Carabao Cup. We get to see Luna in action in this episode. Dubos is also coming in for the suspended Rinaldi. And our squad depth is thin. Mitchell is back in goal. Last time he played, he conceded four. This will be a tough test. Barnsley will kick off. We're on legendary. Let's see what some of our youth players have in their lockers. We have got a decent, strong side out. Milan, led to a McGeevan. It's a great ball, is that? And Hamill, oh my days. Just sticks out a leg. And Barnsley take the lead with their first attack of the game. The real first attack of this episode. And Barnsley have found themselves one and look. That's a great through ball over the top. Great long ball. It caught White out. Then Hamill was there just to reach, reach his leg out and loop it over Mitchell in between the goals for us. And Barnsley find themselves in front. It's 1-0. How will Cambridge respond from going behind in this cup tie? Here's Zeng trying to get round his marker, trying to get Cambridge back into the game and Pearson will there to intercept. And it's, that is how it's gone with our attacking play all game. Here come Barnsley, again there's a big space in the middle of the park. Mitrov tries to go close him down. It's Grove, oh what a challenge by Griffiths. A great sliding challenge to block the shot. Janssen's certainly happy with that one. And Barnsley win themselves a corner kick. We've enjoyed good spells of possession in this first half. We've not really conjured up attack. And that is how our first half has gone. We try to play the ball forward. And Barnes' defensive duties have been superb. Every interception they have won. Second ball they've also won. They find themselves in the lead at the break. It's 1-0. Boyanov. He's had another solid game. Good ball into the box. And Sewell looks to turn his man. He's done really well. And Sewell then. Will he have a dig? He will. Good save by Davis. Zeng might get a chance here. He's headed against Pearson. And it's gone behind for a Cambridge corner. That is our first chance of the game. Good response in the second half by Cambridge. Barnes is looking to switch the play. Well done by Griffiths. Luna, he won't even get there. He will do. Picks up the ball. Boyanov. Nice turn. This is what it's been like for Cambridge in this game. We've had a good spells of possession like this. But we're struggling to find a way through the resilient Barnsley defence. We might find it here though. Van Leven. Sloppy ball into Insur will pick it up and he's tackled. And that is exactly how the game's gone. We are just running out of ideas, running out of options to break Barnsley down. So we're making a change then. Two players back from injury. Carter and McNeil will replace Van Leven and Griffiths. Good ball into Dubos. Finds... In Sewer in the middle of the park. We'll go out wide to Luna. Luna then up towards Carter, the substitute. We struggle to break out, break down Barnsley in a game. It's nothing's come of it. That's a good ball up to In Sewer. In Sewer then he will look to shoot and it goes over the bar. And Barnsley have forced us to shoot from range there. Oh, well done. Point of is probably, in terms of performances, again, he's been superb. Wins everything in midfield for us. Here's McNeil though. Waiting for options. Only got one to his left hand side. Here's Luna. Tries to play inside. We get the lucky break that we may need. And Sewer then trying to beat his marker. We just can't seem to break down this Barnes of defence. They've taken the one goal lead and they've defended immensely. Carter laid off. Here's Boyanov. Back towards Carter. We're down to the last five minutes of the game then. Not much in terms of attempts by Cambridge. Working one here though. It's Boyanov. He will have a dig. And oh, it's just gone wide of the mark and you feel that we are definitely running out of ideas here it was a decent strike by the young man and it wasn't far wide at all full time then what a frustrating game that was Barnsley's defense was amazing I think we only had like two or three efforts all game and we got out of the cup a little bit disappointing if you're a Cambridge fan our cup runs come to an end it's finished Cambridge nil Barnsley won Transfer news then, and Brown has joined Crew Alexandra on a £260,000 deal. We're into transfer deadline there. We are 10 hours remain. One player to depart the club already on transfer deadline day. Two hours in, Mingua has agreed personal terms with Exeter 
for a fee of 390k. And transfer deadline day has ended. One departing player. That is it in terms of business that Cambridge have done. We have our first international call-up then of the series. It's Leng. He's going to China. Next game of episode there, we go away to Forest Green in the league. Some changes to tell you guys about. Rinaldi comes back into the side after serving a one-match ban. McNeil makes his full debut at left-back. Griffiths does drop to the bench. Carter is also on the bench. We'll use him as a substitute in this game. It's Forest Green against Cambridge. If you do enjoy my type of series, then you guys will probably know of Sparring DK, who is doing one with Forest Green Rovers. He uploads every single day, daily uploads from DK. You can go check him out in the description below. I'll have the link for his channel. Also, Curtis and Barmer are in there as well. Make sure you go check them guys out as well. Forest Green have certainly started off the better of the two teams in this game so far. Good Chris passing. There's a look to open us up here. What a save by Cassidy. It wouldn't have counted anyway if it had gone in. But that's a great save. Skips past the challenge. Here is Cooper. Laid off. Brown will shoot. And Cassidy to his left-hand side will turn it behind for a corner. Top, top save that keeps Cambridge in the game. Goes behind for a corner kick to Forest Green. Great save. Bearer into Cooper. Cooper into Biganel. Here's Brown. Back to him again. Forest Green just keep the attack alive. Not going nowhere. As the shot comes in. Oh, it's a great one-handed save by Cassidy. He gets back up at the second attempt. And it's all Forest Green in this match. We are struggling. So it seems that I've been forced into making an early change. I was playing a real life player, I do apologise about that, we've rectified that now on the half hour mark, Sandoval comes on to Harrison Dunk, Rinaldi, that's a good ball, into Boynov, Boynov then looks to turn, does really well, Boynov will shoot on his left foot, and it was always leaning back and it was always going to go high and wide, but great work by Boynov to create that space to allow him to get the shot away, he was confident to take it on with his left foot, it's not too far over the bar. Oh, Ronaldo's caught late by the Forest Green Rovers player and he's left down in a heap on the floor and he is injured and I think that's going to be a booking. He was very late in that challenge there. A bit naughty of the Forest Green Rovers player. He has injured our Rinaldi who's just come back from suspension and look how late he was there. Disgusting challenge and he will not be able to continue. It's going to be Griffiths that replaces Rinaldi then. Here come Forest Green. Oh, it's well worked. Oh, White gets back well. The referee's given a free kick on the edge of the box. Right on the D. It's in a dangerous position is this. Oh, the duel from the training ground. They've completely fooled us. Took a deflection. It goes into the bottom corner. And Forest Green take the lead. Oh, massive deflection on that. Took it away from Cassidy, who's done superbly well in this game. He's finally beaten. He's made two or three good saves in this match. Let's take another look at the replay. Did it come off Turner? It hits Turner's arse and goes into the bottom corner. That's very unlucky. Very fortunate for Forrest Green. Look at the deflection on that. And Cassidy was unable to stop it from going into the back of the net. Forrest Green Rovers take the lead. It's 1-0. Van Leven. Not been impressed with him really up to now. As we're looking to... Oh, Griffiths. He's got it back though. Pons, great turn. We'll cross it into the back post. We've got the headers. And Van Sandoval. It's Sandoval. I was going to say Van Leuven. And we hit back straight away. Quality finish on the volley from six yards out. Empty net. Bang. Goal. It's Forest Green 1. Forest Green Rovers 1. Cambridge United 1. As we take another look at the replay. Great volley. Boom. And Sandoval wasn't going to miss that. Final change then for Cambridge. Carter's going to come on to replace Frank Van Leuven. Sandoval oh it's a good ball into the box and Griffiths arrives and we've gone in front we've taken the lead we've come from behind and Griffiths ran into the box unmarked nobody picked him up and Forest Green Rovers now are behind it's Forest Green Rovers 1 Cambridge 2 let's take a look at that great play by Sandoval he's impressed me an awful lot great movement by Griffiths beats the goalkeeper at the near post to tap it in Oh, it's a decent ball, that. Turner's not going to catch up. Ball played in, and Forest Green are back on level terms. They have done exactly what we did to them. It was a lethal through ball that Turner couldn't quite get his positioning right. But Mitrov couldn't get there neither. Neither could Cassidy. It was a great ball into the box. And the number nine for Forest Green has equalised. It's 2-2. Game back on. Sewer. Here's White. 
White looks for one of Carter. Carter gets into the box. Carter will shoot. Great save by the legs of Collins. And Sandoval nearly got there. Boynov will keep the attack alive. Intercepting as always as he does so well. Carter. Good ball out wide. Pons. Good ball into the box. And Carter's there. And it's 3-2. What a game this has turned into. Another good response by Cambridge. A superb goal. It's definitely worth another look. Great player by Carter. Great ball. A great cross into the box. And Carter, with, it was a 1-2 that, it was superb, a great finish as well, was outside of his left boot, nearly gets clattered in the process, and Janssen is certainly happy with that one, it's 3-2, let's hold on to this lead, here come for a screen shot, oh, the save by Cassidy, it's turned into a great spectacle as this, one for a neutral to enjoy, if you're a fan of Forest Green or Cambridge, it's very nervous, very tense, and there's not long left of the game. Full time whistle goes then, we have got the massive three points in a terrific game, it was slow to start off with, but it's finished Forest Green Rovers 2, Cambridge United 3. Bad news boys, bad news, I do like Rinaldi, he's out for 7 months. That horrible challenge by the Forest Green Rovers player has put him out for 7, 7 months! Next game of the episode then is Colchester away in the Checker Trade Trophy. We are going to sim this. You can see the starting 11. Mitchell White, Turner, Mitrov, Griffiths, Boynov, Dubios, Yang, Luna, Insua and Van Leuven. Let's just hope we come out of this game with no injuries. I do not like the Checker Trade Trophy. It's a pointless trophy in my opinion. And we lose 3-0. And Insua has got injured. Insua has suffered a broken collarbone and will be out for eight weeks. What an unbelievable save this is for injuries. We're getting players injured for quite some lengthy time as well. Final game of the episode then, Cambridge United versus Colchester. As you can see, Van Leuven drops into midfield. Carter makes his first start since being injured earlier on in the season. Bennett comes back into the side on right midfield. Well done, Van Leuven. Good ball as well. His passing is very good. Here's Bennett. Bennett's done really well to shrug off that defender. Bennett lays it to visitor. Carter. Carter looks to go back to Bennett. Great ball. Bennett inside the box. Takes a touch to set himself in off the post. And we have got the early goal in this game. We're 1-0 up against Colchester United. Well, it was a great ball by Carter. A great assist. But Bennett did take the touch. Had plenty of time. Hits the post. And goes into the goal. This is where we're most vulnerable. Oh, he skipped past Turner. He skipped past Mitrov. Oh, I've just said... They've scored straight from the kickoff. This is where we need to sort it out. It happened in the last game against Forest Green. Well, you can see here, it just runs through our defence, skips past Turner, skips past Mitrov. Only Cassidy to beat. A nice, cool, calm, collective finish into the bottom right hand corner. Here's McNeil. Works into the space, runs into it. Sandoval finds Carter. Carter, great turn. Great play. Carter will shoot. Oh, it's gone in. I think Walker's vision was blocked by his defender, he gets his leg at it, he gets his leg at it, and it finds the roof of the net, Carter is being superb, what a player this guy is, he is amazing, he can make things happen for Cambridge, he's been involved in both of our goals, and an assist for Sandoval, great turn, and a shot, it did take a deflection off the Colchester defender, and that, took, that was enough to take it away from the keeper, and he manages to get his leg to it, but it finds the roof of the net, it's Cambridge 2, Colchester 1. Here come Colchester, poor touch, Mitrov will get in there. Oh, we've not cleared it though. Here's a story, the oh, and he shoots, just goes past the post. Luckily for us, I think he got Colchester's equaliser last time. In this case, it wasn't to be. Well, that's half time. So far, so good for Cambridge. It's 2-1 at the break. Nice Van Leuven, lays it off to Griffiths. Griffiths going forward, got Bennett to his right, finds him, Bennett then, will he have a dig, he will, oh, and it's just gone past the post, across the keeper, to the back post, and it wasn't far wide, good build up play by Cambridge, found the space well, unfortunately, Bennett couldn't put it into the back of the net, substitution for Cambridge then, Frank Van Leuven is coming off, he's had a decent game, it's the best we've seen him play, He's just not got enough energy in the tank because he's played a lot of games for us. McDonald does come on to replace him. Oh, we've let him through here. Guthrie is free in the box to aim for. Mitrev won't get there. What a save by Cassidy with his legs. 
I don't think he knew much about that. It was poor defending by Mitrov. I think that's the first time we're going to be able to say that. Oh my days, what a save that is. There goes the full tie whistle. It's another three points for Cambridge United. Superb victory. Great performance by the lads. Carter was superb. Got a goal and an assist to his name. Bennett also had a great game. Van Leven, when he was on the pitch, he so he also had a great game. It's finished Cambridge United 2. Colchester 1. So boys, this episode is coming to an end. As you can see, we're going to take a look at the league table then for the first time with five games on the board. We've won three, we've drawn one, we've lost one. We have 10 points. Walsall at the top of the table on 13, not lost a game. So they are the only unbeaten side in the division. Thank you so much, boys, for watching. We'll start off the next episode with a squad report. We'll do our squad reports every five episodes we get to episode five episode 10 episode 15 and so on just so you guys know what's going on if you're happy with that sort of layout please let me know in the comment section below thank you so much for watching please give the video a like and i'll see you all on my next video and goodbye